Good morning, good very morning. It's really, really morning. So morning, it's still dark. I guess that could be classed as night time, but it's also morning. So it's really early and I'm up. I just fell out of bed. One of those days where you just fall out of bed and roll onto your wheel out the door before anyone knows. Here we go. So new camera, I wanted to just get out and test it in some low light as well. So I thought here's a way to kill two stones with a, one bird. Here it is, the sunrise is gonna be over here. So keep an eye, you'll see that come up shortly. But I guess if you're gonna be using your wheel and commuting at speeds or getting into the races, a lot of the people at the e-skate races at the moment, you know, maybe you should consider having something that'll take a nice slide. Other bonus here is I have built-in knee pads, so I don't need to wear a set of braces. And that's just a bonus. Makes it a little bit more comfortable, actually. That was a really comfortable trip into the city and it really didn't take too long on the V13. Still such a beautiful treat to be able to just get to the places you need to go a little bit faster. And um, it's still feeling really good. Just still playing with things. It's not just about where you put your pads on the wheel, you know, forwards or backwards of the, of the pedals. You can really sort of set yourself to be leaning forwards or or really back at the wheel and you know the height of the pads and the tilt of the pads and then the angle of your pedals that you set and all that to do with your pedal hardness and then your accelerate and speed assist there's just a lot to dial in to get that mix perfect oh, plus your suspension and your dampener and your tire pressure but um all of that for me is just allowing such a nice uh, range of customization you know like on the v th v11 i could do so much and i had the standard grizzler pads at the time and i could do so much Heaps busier than I thought in the, here in the city this morning. So I thought I could get in and beat the crowd, but it seems like there's just cyclists everywhere. It sounds like a horrible, horrible time to be anywhere, really. So I'm using the Shredlights SL1000 and I've got the Shredlights SLR1s just on the back on the stand there. The stand's really, really good. It works really well for me. Um, I love the fact that I don't have to fold it up like on the V11 and it just is there. And when I need it, I just lean the wheel back and it's there and it works and it seems really stable. A lot more stable than that rickety V11 one, which works perfectly for me anyway. You just learn to learn to deal with the quirks yeah so the sunrise is coming up it's a new day i hope you're enjoying it wherever you are in the world if you're wheeling or just watching cool i hope you're not watching while you're wheeling might not be cool depending on your skill level yeah i'm, I'm i sort of woke up with a bit of a buzz in my step i guess because in the background i've been working hard at the channel and we kind of getting close to monetization for me I've hit the watch hours a long time ago but just getting that last subscriber count it's ticking over someone showed me this projections thing and it says in two months maybe I can get there maybe you can help me get there sooner you know please subscribe or like hit the bell share me around 
don't mind being shared around. I like it. But also behind the scenes, we've been building the affiliates, trying to work on a few ideas for, you know, you guys watching, and I'm hopefully going to try to offer some more giveaways down the track, and at least some more content of new wheels to test, and that might make things, you know, a little more interesting than the standard roll and chat. And I'll try to just mix it up and keep it fun. But I've also been talking to InMotion for quite a while now, and. Um, just in the background building up a bit of a relationship with you know Bob and Clark and Cecily so thank you um, for the time to be able to answer my questions and as I'm trying to learn more about my wheel and the app and upcoming things from in motion you know they're coming to the party and helping me and sending a few spares for the wheel and e-riders said that they're getting you know some spares for my wheel so having a few spares for when I make content and it goes wrong that's going to be amazing and um, my big push really is to just try to keep this community alive and show what it is in in our country not not many places are, are legal to do this yet so I think if we can show that we're responsible and it works and it's not dangerous and these videos I think show that sometimes it just helps build things Good luck to anybody, you know, trying to change laws in their in their world, wherever they are. It's a changing world to get these electric vehicles happening and it's not always easy, so. You know, I did a little bit of an app walkthrough just the other day and I thought I had a few questions that I wanted to just put out to InMotion and I asked them if there was any of the features that were on the old app that might come across. You know, things that I kind of miss are the map and the real-time recording of your trip. But at this stage, um, they've said, you know, no, they're, they're really just trying to keep it as a simple, simple app this time. So they have, haven't got those extra features that they had in the older version. So yeah, uh, you know, that's one thing I guess that I, I was hoping maybe that they might have had that, but yeah, they don't. I also asked if you might be able to set some custom alarms as in your tilt backs and you know being able to change some of those settings like some of the third party apps might allow me to set a, you know, a tilt back at 55 kilometers per hour um, and have a few different steps of warnings that I can step up so I might have one at 50 I might have one at 60 and I might have one a 65 and that way I can sort of feel the three different warnings but this stage the only customization that they can do or, or that they that they have is the custom sounds which can can allow you to I guess set up a different warning for different scenarios but not going to allow you to set up or custom tilt back options But um, I think they're really concentrating on, app, on on wheels and wheel development and the app possibly isn't their real concern just at the moment. And then you've got other third party apps like EUC World and Darkness Spot that are stepping up to take that gap anyway. This is beautiful, isn't it? This morning, look at this. What a treat to come out and have such a nice morning to wake up to. This is the InMotion V13 Challenger. Grizzler flow pads on and TSG wrist guards, some Alpine Stars gloves. We've got a Shoei helmet. And yeah, we're using the Insta One X3. So that's the first time I've used this camera. And I'm really interested to see how this footage is going. I can see it's recording. That's a bonus because you know, my last camera, after I took a fall, it was having a couple of issues with that. But not too much more of this video, I guess. That's just a wrap up of me, you know, letting you know a few things. Um, things are really good for me in my world and I hope they are in your world really coming to terms with this wheel and it's okay now at, you know slow paces the wobbles are, and jitters are starting to go away I'll say bye so thanks so much for watching another video it's not going to be very long and I'll be back in the saddle okay bye for now yeah let's go this way sounds fun to me stay happy stay rolling and uh, enjoy your life